Hey y'all, it's Wes Cowan with Transgender Wellness Out Youth, and I'm here today to talk about self-care. Something that is a practice, not always perfect at it, um, but just wanted to talk about the importance of it um, and methods that we can use to do that. Um, so it's important that we take care of ourselves because if we're not taking care of ourselves first, we're not going to be able to help others. It's like if you've ever been on a plane where the flight attendant talks about if the oxygen mask falls, put it on yourself first and then help the person next to you. Well, that's kind of what we have to do throughout our lives. Um, even as a clinician myself, I have to take care of myself so that I can help others. Um, sometimes, especially during stressful times such as uh, you know, we've gone through this pandemic for a while, things are starting to open up more, um, but we're still getting back to seeing our family and friends in person and, and interacting with strangers out in the world. Um, <clears throat> but also with our most recent legislation issues that we had in the state and luckily um, through all of the amount of effort and emotional labor and even the physical labor of having to go to the to the capital um, probably need some self care now, um, and thank you for everyone who who did do that emotional labor or went to this to the capital to have your voices heard. You're much appreciated, um, and for the folks who were practicing self care, uh, you are also much appreciated because it allows you to continue to be here and fight and have presence. Um, so self-care, sometimes when we're, we're feeling disassociated with ourselves or having a tough time, um, we need to practice some self-compassion and that we usually extend to other people. And we need to make sure to be forgiving and kind to ourselves and acknowledge that even the small things of getting up, taking a shower or brushing our teeth or just waking up, that is okay. And um, if we're struggling, we need to have a, a plan of how to take care of ourselves, be that listening to our favorite song, having a playlist where we sing along to our favorite music, um, or having our sketchbook next to us while we're sitting in a meeting um, and being able to doodle so that we can just pay attention and get through that, that meeting, or uh, practicing our breathing, or making sure that we have a hot, hot cup of tea or coffee um, near us so that it can help us ground and just take care of ourselves. Um, so a couple of techniques for grounding um, and feeling back in the present and knowing that we are okay is, well, having a hot cup of tea, wrapping your hand around that mug, both hands, and just focusing on feeling that heat of the coffee cup or tea cup that you have, um, bringing you back to the present and smelling the wonderful aroma of your tea or coffee and really savoring the the smell of it and then taking a sip and savoring the taste of it. Um, another method um, could be uh, telling yourself, um, my name is Wes. I am here in my apartment and I can hear the trickle of, of water for my pet's bowl. Um, and I am okay and I'm in the present and I am safe. Uh, practicing that for yourself um, could be something that can help with anxiety and an and out of body experience and not feeling grounded. Another thing is I'm sitting in my chair. I can feel the weight of myself and my body sitting in my chair. I can feel me leaning back and my back is touching the seat rest seat back and I can feel my legs and I can feel that my feet are on top of um, my chair's legs and um, I can feel the weight of my head connecting to my neck connecting to my torso and just practicing being present in that moment of our bodies. Um, this can also be helpful when we're feeling dysphoric um, of this is my body and this is okay. And this is okay that my body is not exactly what I want it to be, but it is my body. 
and I can love it. Um, and practicing mantras of self-love and care. Um, and acknowledging that we are doing when we are just trying, um, because all of this is a practice. Another great one when we're having worries is imagining ourselves sitting beneath a tree and it is fall. And we are imagining that we're also sitting next to a running brook or river stream and watching the water flow by and bubbling against the rocks and flowing away from us and imagining the leaves of the tree are falling in the water and we watch those leaves go down the stream and disappear. And then imagining naming our anxiety on that leaf and watching that anxiety fall into the water and drift away from us and go down the stream and go away, down the stream away from us and knowing that we don't need to be in that anxiety right now, that we can not change it or we can take care of it later. These are things that we can practice imagining in our grounding. Uh, we can make lists. I myself get caught up in anxiety trying to go to sleep and I have to sit and acknowledge to myself, this is not something that I can take care of now. It is something that I can take care of in the morning. So I make a list of, or put a calendar uh, slot on my schedule that I'm going to take care of this tomorrow at this time and I can't do anything now. And this allows me to stop worrying about it. And it's something that you too can practice. Uh, temperature changes like the hot coffee or hot tea, wrapping our hand around that mug, that is really helpful to bring us back. So we can do that with a cold bottle of water, rubbing, grabbing a cold bottle of water and rubbing it on our arm or uh, a, a cold washcloth or hot washcloth, putting it on the back of our neck, as long as it's at a safe temperature, or putting it on our forehead to that temperature change makes us re-regulate because we're focusing more on our body instead of on um, the emotional um, rise that we're having to help us re-regulate and come back to be able to think about something logically. Um, this can help when we're angry. Um, going for a walk. Walking is really healthy. It allows us to, to get out in nature and really ground with our, our nature surroundings and feeling the, the ground beneath our feet. Um, it's physically, uh, so it's physically literally grounding us and also emotionally, spiritually grounding us. Um, so when we're getting angry, upset, nervous, having a panic attack, uh, taking a drink, we should take a drink of water slowly and savor that. We should go for a walk. So we should practice temperature changes. I want to implore you to find something that works for you. And if it doesn't work 100% of the time, that's okay. It's okay to find something that works 10%. Then we can find something that works five and we can just build up those techniques until it equals 100 for us. And it's not always gonna work the same, but it's good to practice. And if we don't practice, practice self-compassion that it's okay that we didn't do it because when we're anxious or upset, we're having some heavy emotions, we're not gonna remember all of our techniques and that's okay. We'll practice it again later. So that is today's corner of transgender wellness. And I hope that you're able to take some time and Take, take some self-care time and some self-compassion. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thanks.